You may not have heard these songs in a while, but that doesn't mean they aren't awesome. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 songs from the 90s you forgot were awesome. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be taking a look at songs from the 90s that may no longer get the credit they deserve, but have aged so, so well. Number 10, How Bizarre, OMC. You may have forgotten all about this New Zealand band, but you're sure to recognize this hit as soon as that familiar guitar riff starts. Propelling OMC from relative obscurity to international success, How Bizarre charted in multiple countries around the world. With its catchy laid-back beat, the song spread like wildfire. However, the band, like many of the others you'll see on this list, proved to be a one-hit wonder, never really replicated their initial success, and sadly in time both band and song became largely overlooked. Number 9. In the Meantime, Space Hog Despite being an awesome 90s song, this glam rock jam harkened back to the 70s and 80s stylings of Queen and David Bowie. It dominated the charts and appeared in a number of mediums from its release until the end of the 90s. However, Space Hog was not meant to last into the new millennium. They broke up in 2002, and their popularity slowly faded away. Nevertheless, Space Hawk completed a successful reunion in 2008, and has released two more albums since then, giving us a bit more of their awesome sound. Number 8. Bound for the Floor, Local H We could hardly be forgiven if we did a list of awesome 90s music and didn't include at least one post-grunge song. Arguably one of the most popular songs of the then-new genre was this hit from the group of high school friends turned rock stars. While both the song and the subgenre as a whole have received much less airtime over the years, the post-grunge movement, which was kicked off with songs like Bound for the Floor, was a crucial part of the alternative rock's rise. The song is emblematic of post-grunge, combining grunge attitudes and sounds with influences of a variety of other genres. Number 7. Ready to Go, Republica The 90s brought with it a plethora of excellent punk rock acts with commanding female lead vocals, and this gem was one of the best. Lead singer Saffron's slick vocals certainly helped the song stand out, and added to the overall fast-paced and energetic feel of the track. While the song grew in popularity after being featured in a number of commercials and TV shows, it faded somewhat from the forefront after the 90s due to perhaps the Republica's long hiatus from 2001 to 2008. Number 6. Crush, Jennifer Page It's not difficult to see why this relatable and catchy song became one of the most popular songs of the year, reaching number 3 on Billboard's Top 100. Describing an infatuation that she says is just a passing crush, Page seems to hint at a bit of denial in her lyrics. Perhaps her feelings may actually go deeper than she is willing to admit. While she continued to release a number of successful songs, Paige never again reached the popularity of Crush. Number 5. My Own Worst Enemy, Lit Can we forget about the things I said when I was drunk? After struggling to find an audience and land a major label for their first album, Lit was able to sign with RCA due to the strength of their sophomore effort, A Place in the Sun. With the release of My Own Worst Enemy, the band became an overnight success. The pop-punk sound and introspective lyrics of the track made it one of the biggest songs of the year, and a number of successful singles from the album followed. It's no surprise to me, I am my own worst enemy. 
the band's next album signaled a bit of change of direction, which while praised by critics as being more mature, was not as popular with fans. Number 4. 7 Seconds Yusu Nador featuring Nene Cherry It shouldn't come as a surprise that a collaboration from one of Africa's most prolific musicians, Yusu Nador, and popular Swedish singer Nene Cherry was a huge international hit. Seven seconds away. Further adding to its worldwide appeal was that a combination of English, French, and Wolof, a West African language, were employed to deliver its message addressing prejudice. While Nador remains popular, especially in his native Senegal, he never again had an international hit on the level of 7 seconds. Seven seconds away, or just as long as I stay, I'll be waiting. Number 3. Laid. James. Although the band formed in the early 80s, James only hit their stride after retooling their lineup at the decade's end. This bed is on fire with passion and love. Writing a number of hits, including Come Down and She's a Star, the band became popular on both sides of the Atlantic in the 1990s, and it didn't take long for Laid to become a hit on college radio stations in the US. I think you're so However, the risque lyrics and subject matter caused it to be censored in the US, and has not received much play outside of alternative rock stations. She only comes when she's on top. Other James songs have had more staying power, with their hit Sit Down featured in a promo for the seventh season of Game of Thrones. Number 2, Inside Out, Eve 6. I burn, burn like a wicker cabinet. Hailing from Southern California, Eve 6 arrived on the scene at the tail end of the 90s. For the last few years of the decade, their songs, most notably Inside Out, dominated the airwaves. Playing on a number of late night talk shows, and with the video frequently featured on MTV, the band's fame exploded. Tell me to the bed, Unfortunately, this would prove to be their undoing, as stress from their rapid success caused psychological problems and strife between members, causing the band to break up, halting their rapid rise. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. The Way, Fastball An exit to eternal summer slacking. The Way is one of the finest alternative rock tracks of the 1990s, as well as one of the most emblematic. Different from many of the outright dreary alt-rock compositions offered throughout the decade, The Way features a distinct sound. We made up their minds, and they started backing. Although the story told over the course of the song seems tragic, it is offset nicely by the upbeat nature of the chorus. This and songs like it paved the way for an explosion of alternative rock in the next few years. Sadly, the same genre would also eclipse the popularity of Fastball's hit. Though the Way song lost airtime, it never seemed to fade in popularity. When this track comes across the radio, God help anyone who tries to change the station. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day. Oh, just as long as I